Hello, everybody. This is Mike from the On The Stack podcast at iceworm.org slash magic. Today, we're going to be looking at a green-blue deck I have uh, created. Start off with our lands here. We have 13 islands, and we have 10 forests, and one Thornwood Falls. We're going to move into our creatures. We have two Elvish Mystics, which uh, they tap um, for one green mana, and they're a one, co- one drop, so only one mana to play them. We have two Frost Links, which is a nice 2-2 that also causes something to be tapped, and it doesn't untap during its next untap step. Two Leaf Crown Dryads, it's a bestow creature that can give a target creature plus two and uh, give it 2-2 two, two and reach, and when that creature dies, it goes back to just being a 2-2. Two, two with reach. We have two mnemonic walls. It's a zero four defender. And it lets you bring an instant or sorcery card back from your graveyard to your hand. And we'll get to instants and sorceries in a second, but it's a good way to get some of those cards back. We have two Nyxborn Wolves. It's a uh, three one creature or you can you can bestow it for four and one green and give a creature three three. When that creature dies this thing goes back to just being an enchantment creature. Have two omen speakers, so one three for one and a blue, and it can scry two, so you can look at the top two cards of your library and put them on top or bottom. We have three sagu maulers. This is where the elvish mystics come to play because they um, add mana to your mana pool. He's a six six uh, trample with hexproof. He can also be morphed at a lower cost, but uh, yeah, the trample and hexproof is a nice combo. We have two Sigil Starfish, just a 0-3, but the nice thing about him is you can uh, tap it to scry one, so you can, you know, put the cards you don't want on the bottom of your library, so you get better draws when you uh, actually draw cards. And finally, in creatures, we have two Triton Shore Stalkers. They're one ones and they can't be blocked. And it's a one drop, so you can get it out pretty quickly. Into our enchantments, we have two Encrust. You play this on a tapped creature and cause it so it can't untap or use any of its activated abilities. And also a mana producing spell, we have Market Festival, uh, Enchant Land, and it taps, when you tap it for mana, it adds two mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool, as well as the mana it produces normally. So if you play this on a forest, it will produce, um, well, you can produce any color you want, but say you're going to produce green, you end up getting producing three green from the land because the enchantment gives you two mana and the land itself gives you one. Into our instance, we have two cancels, just to counter target spell. Two countermands, which is a four uh, cost spell, but what it does is it counters target spell and um, that person you counter puts the top four cards into their graveyard. It's a nice way to um, remove some cards in the game. Two negates, just counters target non-creature spells. And two voyages end, which kind of uh, lets you return the target creature through uh, its owner's hand, as well as you can scry one as well. We have one Planeswalker. We have Kiora the Crashing Wave. She's only a four mana cost, two colorless, one green, one blue. Comes in with two counters on it already. Uh, it's plus one is you can um, prevent damage from one uh, source or one creature for a turn. Uh, it's minus one ability is you can um, draw an extra card and play an additional land on that turn. And then for its pl- uh, minus 5 ability, you get an emblem, so at the beginning of your end step, you put a 9-9 uh, Kraken token into play. And finally, into the sorceries, we have two divinations, just to draw two cards, and two time to feed. It says choose target creature and opponent controls. When that creature dies this turn, you gain 3 life, and a target creature um, fights a creature that you control. So. You want to fight something that's going to destroy that creature. You destroy that creature, and you gain three life. Uh, it's a pretty simple deck. I really like having the Planeswalker in here, especially for her second ability. I like is it be, you can uh, you know draw an additional card, play an additional land, prevent damage, and also if you pull it off, you can get a nine nine uh, cracking token every turn if you want. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you like these videos, you can um, or li- want to listen to the podcast, you can go to iceworm.org/magic. And you can, um, you know, subscribe, and you'll be informed when these videos come out. We're going to try and do it one a week. So one a week, usually looking at um, decks I've built. I want to thank you all for watching, and have a good one.